Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to start answering the question, what is duality in a second order circuit? And to me, duality is the strangest, craziest thing. It almost seems like it shouldn't work, but it does. It turns out that these are equivalent circuits. This is the duality circuit of our first one. So let's take a look. Here we have a circuit that has a current source, it is connected to these two components, a capacitor and a resistor in series. And this set of components in series are connected in parallel to the inductor. We're claiming that this is exactly the same circuit as this circuit. Now, when we say exactly the same, I should really say equivalent circuit, and we'll find out why. But replacing the current source by a voltage source, notice we go from 50 milliamps to 50 millivolts. We change the series connection here with the capacitor and the resistor into a parallel connection, but we change the capacitor to an inductor from 3 farads to 3 henrys, and the resistor goes from 10 ohms to the inverse of that, or 1 tenth of an ohm. And then we have this inductor in parallel to this set of components here, and now we make it a capacitor, but we put it in series with the two components here and then we continue the circuit and complete it. These are equivalent circuits. This is the duality of the circuit right here. So in essence, what did we do? We took the current source that was 50 milliamps and we said that it was interchangeable with a voltage source of 50 millivolts. So notice that the quantity is the same. We just went from milliamps to millivolts and we changed the current source to a voltage source. Then we took the series connection of a capacitor and a resistor and turned it into a parallel connection. The capacitor changed into an inductor and the resistance became the inverse of the resistance. But notice from a series into a parallel connection. And then here notice that the inductor was in parallel to these two components. Now we turn it into, instead of inductor, into a capacitor and we make it in series instead of in parallel. When we do all that, we go from this circuit to this circuit and we have what we call the duality circuit and we end up with the same equation results and we'll show that in the next videos how that works but that is what we mean by duality and this is the process that we follow to go from one type of circuit to another type of circuit we'll show you some examples so you get a little bit more of a feel for it but that's what we mean by duality in second order circuits what do you think <laughs> Crazy, huh? I don't know, but it's pretty clever. Actually, when you see the other videos, it'll start to make a lot of sense. But it just when you know you first see that, that's, you say that's impossible. How can you do that? But there's a reason to all that. That mad method. 